Every game I know has a top level. The level that shows that you've worked your way through the game, gaining experience and knowledge as you do, facing harder and harder opponents, getting you justifiably to that top position where you can hold your head up high and say, yes, I've achieved something. But does that ring true for World of Tanks Blitz? Well, let's have a look. Yeah, hello everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. And before we get into it, don't forget to like, share if you want to and subscribe. It's a beautiful thing to do. It costs you nothing and hey, puts a smile on my face. Let's get into the video. So is tier 10 in World of Tanks Blitz really the pinnacle of the game? Is it really something that you can be proud of achieving? Well, I used to think that was the case. Now I don't. And that's a shame because when I first started playing Blitz, getting to tier 10 really was not easy. Uh, it was a hard grind, um, it was incredibly difficult, and every tier you faced more and more worthy opponents. And it was just really tough going, to be perfectly honest with you. But it was a game, and like all games, it's meant to be challenging. I mean, what is the point of having a game that is no challenge? There's no point. It's just pointless. And like all games that I know, you you have to go through like a training phase, learning the game, learning and understanding the game to unlock that next level. And in fairness to Blitz, it realistically has 10 levels, tiers 1 to tier 10. But is it really an achievement nowadays to say, I've got a tier 10? And rolling out in tier 10, are you really rolling out in the top echelons of the game where you're only gonna face you know, really good players? Well, no, you're not. Because nowadays, you don't even need to grind your way to tier 10, which is criminal in, in my opinion. It's absolutely criminal. If you have enough money in real terms and you do get enough XP, you can actually get a tier 10 tank without having played any of the tanks in the tech tree that precede it. That it blew me away. I mean, it's just shocking and I'll get to that point in a moment. But I'm getting back to tier 10. Now, tier 10 is meant to be the top level of the game. Now, this is the game I rolled out in yesterday in a T62A. And, you know, this was not fun. I mean, we annihilated that team 6-1. That wasn't fun for me, and we won the game. I doubt it was fun for those on the other side. I mean, what fun do you get from that? But I just want to go back to the tech tree. So this is my Asian tech tree. And as you can see, I've got Tiger 2. And I've got 44,000 XP. Now, the E75 is going to cost me 154,000 XP, which I don't have. But look, I can research it because I've got free XP of 109. So I can press that. I can buy a garage slot because I didn't have a slot. So I'll just buy some slots. There we go. I'm throwing money at it. Now I need more stuff required. So look, I bought it. I haven't grinded it. I just bought it. And watch this. I can instant upgrade. Look, instant upgrade for 8,000. Boom, I've got all the modules. I've ground nothing, I've done no stock. Now, if I had enough XP, I could get the E100, but I haven't got enough XP. That, in my book, is wrong. You should not be able to do that. Now I understand where Wargaming's coming from. They want you, because they're a business, to splash your cash. But that erodes the game. Now, this is a game I played yesterday with my two mates, YG Sol. Tier 10, and it was on my live stream, and throughout the entire game I said this was just seal clubbing. This is shocking. This is a tier 10 game. Okay, there's a couple of tier 9s, but this is just shocking. I mean, the level of gameplay in this game is tier 1, or tier 2. I mean, it is unbelievable. I said throughout the entire game, I'm just seal clubbing, and that's all I am doing. I am seal clubbing my way through this game. 
and this game is giving me no enjoyment whatsoever and it's just me seal clubbing and it's tier 10 I mean this is just ludicrous I mean okay we lost two tanks but that's not the point of this game the point of this game is wow I mean this was unreal I mean it was unbelievably dull and I hated every minute of it okay we win but again that's not the point when I'm at this tier I'm expecting that the other side have got the knowledge and experience to at least give me a challenge this is a walkover and it really is I mean look at this he can't even aim at me I mean it's absolutely dreadful and it's not primarily the players fault I don't blame them I mean if you give them the tools they're gonna do it okay they th there's an argument to say that they should know better but you know you give anybody the tools they'll they'll do whatever they like look at this e100 I mean he hasn't got a hope and house chance bless him and this is just wow I mean this kills the game wargaming you've got to stop this because tier 10 is no longer tier 10 it's tier 3 or tier 4 and I'll be honest with you, in Tier 3 and Tier 4, to an extent, you get better gameplay nowadays than you do at Tier 10. This is spoiling the game. And this is what is making a lot of players angry. Wargaming, for the love of God, stop instant upgrades. Get people to grind at least the higher tiers. Because look at this, I mean, when you look at the results here, we did 14,000 damage compared to their 6,000. And when I look at the teams, they were, they, were, they were unbalanced. I mean, we had better players in our team, um, to be honest with you, than they did. And you can see that. But I'm not blaming the players. It's not the players' fault. I mean, look at, now look at their team. You know, 49%. And then we've got 53% up to 2,000 battles in an IS-7. 9,000 battles, 48%. 53% up to 4,000 battles. 49% up to 2,000. 1,000, oh my god, 44%. I mean, guys, you should not be in these tiers. You really shouldn't. You're just killing it for yourselves and you're killing it for everybody else. I'm telling you. And Wargaming, stop it. Anyway, in the introduction, you saw a short clip and I just wanted to go through that clip. This is me again last night. This is my uh, toon mate, uh, YG Sol. And look at the ST1. Now, the ST1's camped there the entire game. He's a heavy, a tier 9 heavy and a good one at that. And he's trying to use gun depression. The ST1 has no gun depression. So this automatically tells me this guy, this player has no clue about that tank. And he's getting smacked. Now watch this. Watch. Boom, he's dead. And, you know, we just couldn't stop laughing. Anyway, that's my video. Wargaming. Seriously, you need to do something about this. You've got to stop killing your upper tiers this way. It's not fun. It's not fun for the players who are good, and it's not fun for the players who are rushing through the tears. Please, for the love of God, do something about it. So, I've been Fujit. That's been my video on, is tier 10 really the pinnacle? I'm gonna leave you some flying tanks. Why not? Everybody loves flying tanks. Well, anyway, if you got any decent replays, send them to me at fujitsblit at gmail.com. Or send them to my Discord server, whatever easier for you. I'd like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers for getting me to almost 3,200. Without you, these videos will be pointless. And to my Patreons, who without you, it would be harder to do these videos. And don't forget, you can now become a member of my YouTube channel. All the details are on my channel. So until the next time, guys, my usual stuff. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking, because that is what it's all about. Trying to have fun and being happy.